Hey guys, it's Candace, and in today's QuickBooks Tips and Tricks, we are going to talk about creating a new company file and importing your old list. So if you've already had a company file and you want to create a new one, but you want to have the same list so you don't have to start totally from scratch, how do you do that? Now there's two utilities. There's a utility that you can do here where you condense data and you can go in and actually, you know, create a backup copy file and then delete transactions. Instead, what I'm going to show you today is how to go in and export your lists and then import them into the new file. So it's a brand new file. The first step is to go under file, go into the utility and export your list. So export your list, list to IIF files. And you can choose exactly which lists you want to import into the new one. So you can choose from any of these, whether you want to do your chart of accounts, your customer list, your vendor list, your employee list, customer types, all of these, your classes, your items, your payment list, anything that you like the way it was already set up. So if you don't like your old chart of accounts, you may not want that. So you just want to bring in whatever. Now you can still, once you import it, go in and edit it, or you can export it and open it up in Excel, edit it, and then import the new changed file. If you have budgets, that kind of stuff, pricing levels and tax codes. So these ones are some that I'm going to pick and I'm going to click OK. And you choose where you want to save it. Save it somewhere that you can find. You can name it whatever you want to name it. So I'm just going to name it Confidence with QuickBooks Lists because this is my sample file. Click Save. I'm going to put it on the desktop so it's easy to find. Then what you're going to do is you're going to go in and you're going to create your new company file. You can also do it to an existing company file if you want, but I'm going to go create a new one. Basically start from scratch. So I had a client lately who wanted to start totally over. They were starting a new entity and they needed a whole new QuickBooks. So we're going to do an express start. You're going to go in and create the name and go through this whole process and then go ahead and create your company file. Once your new company file is created, to import your lists, you can go under File, Utilities, Import, and if you can export it into Excel, open up in Excel and change it and customize it and clean it up if you want. Otherwise, if you just want the exact same list, you can go here and click IIF Files. You're going to find the files you created and click Open. If you brought over your chart of accounts, it may not see the exact bank account. So you can just click OK and click OK. Now it's been imported. So if I went under customers, I am going to see my customers here. If I went under vendors, I'm going to see all the vendors I have in here as well. Remember, you've brought the lists over, but not the transactions. If you go under your chart of accounts, you're going to see the chart of accounts brought over and all the other things that you selected. So that's as simple, as easy as it is. If you want to just start a brand new file, but you don't want to have to do all your customers and all your vendors. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe. If you need help with QuickBooks, feel free to check out Confidence with QuickBooks, my online course that takes you from the beginning to the end. If you're a brand new user or you've been trying to figure out QuickBooks, but you've really been struggling trying to do it on your own, the course does come with support. So you can ask me questions and I answer them inside of the course, as well as if you enjoyed this tip and you'd like to receive them in your inbox, feel free to go up above or down below and join with your email and I'll send them directly to you. And if you need help cleaning up your QuickBooks or fixing something and you want more of a private session, you don't need the full course, feel free to check out up above or down below. I'll have a link for my private sessions. Have an amazing day. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next tip. Bye-bye.